Hey guys, today I'm going to walk you through the steps of repairing those nasty cracks in your asphalt driveway. It's important to seal up any of those cracks in your driveway to prevent further damage from vegetation like you see in my driveway here. It's also important to fill these cracks as water can get in here and slowly erode the base aggregate. Once winter comes and that water makes its way into the crack and under the pad, the resulting ice could cause pieces of the driveway to break away and the surface can even start to heave or sink. And that's not good news. I'll be getting my driveway professionally sealed in a few days, so I decided to save some money and do this part of the job myself. For a crack repair, the pros quoted me $650, but I can do the job myself for $40. In today's demonstration, I'm going to be using the following. A flathead screwdriver or a similar tool to loosen up any packed soil, debris, or weak pieces of rock from the asphalt. This will be your first line of attack. The steel brush can be used to remove any packed in soil or dirt and help remove any stubborn rocks around the cracked area. I'll be using a soft brush to sweep away any material in the crack or around my working area. I have a blowtorch that I'll be using to kill any vegetation that I am unable to successfully remove by hand. I have a paint stick to help smoothen out the filler material once it's poured into the cracks. A 2 inch or 4 inch putty knife would work equally well. This air compressor will be used to blow out any dead grass or unwanted particles from within the crack. This is probably the most useful tool once the debris and rock in the crack have been loosened with the screwdriver. You're going to want to wear a pair of safety glasses, especially while that compressor is going because it really makes the sand and dirt fly everywhere. Also a pair of gloves is important, so don't forget those. Lastly, the fill that I'll be using today is called Speed Fill and it's by Blackjack. It comes in a container about a gallon in size or 3.4 liters. It costs about $20 at my local hardware store and for my project, I'm going to need two of them. I'll add links to these products or similar ones from Amazon in the description below. The one I'm using works best on warmer days, around 16 degrees Celsius or 61 Fahrenheit or even warmer. Smaller cracks will dry and can be driven on within two hours, while larger cracks will require five to six hours. The idea is to remove any material, including weeds or moss, that could be in the cracks. The flathead screwdriver comes in handy for loosening up the root area and pulling that out. It also can be used to scrape along the crack to loosen up any debris. The idea here is to clear out as much foreign material as possible so the liquid filler has maximum surface area on each side of the crack so it can seal up that area nice and tight. I'll give it a quick blast here with the blowtorch to ensure that root from the dandelion is dead. Same thing here for this next weed. I don't want to see them coming back in a week or two. There we go. The screwdriver and the brush really got this crack cleaned up very nice. Let me run over it with the steel brush to ensure there are no loose rocks. And now for the best tool of all, the air compressor. Let's blast away any remaining debris like dead grass, leaves, seeds, or small rocks. Now the crack is ready for the filler. Before opening up the jug, make sure to give it a good shake for three to four minutes. When you buy this stuff, you can feel that the top portion is mostly liquid and the bottom half is mostly sludge. It needs to be mixed very well, otherwise it will come out too watery and it will have chunks of sludge in it. Opening up the jug for the first time can be a little tricky, so make sure you have a piece of paper towel on hand. Remove the cover and place your finger in the tip so it can be easily removed without touching the filler substance on the outside of the tip. Clean it up with the paper or towel and attach it to the top of the jug. Now we're going to need to cut a piece of the tip away at a 45 degree angle. I usually go down about a quarter to a half an inch. Let's pour that filler liquid into the crack. I 
I like to use a stir stick here to help broaden the coverage area on each side of the crack to make sure that it has a good seal. For larger cracks, the filler material is going to sink and it could even split while it's drying over the next hour. This is totally normal as the liquid is working its way into the depths of the crack. In this scenario, we're going to need to apply a second coating within an hour or two to top up that crack. For larger cracks, you could also add a little bit of sand to help save on the filler solution. I like to fill them up about halfway so I don't use as much filler and I still get a large enough surface area on the cracks sidewalls. On this smaller crack, it's quite simple. After having cleared it out, the filler material is applied and then spread out for additional surface coverage. Once dried, the filler is nice and durable and even on this hot day a day later, it's totally dried and hard to the touch. All the repair work has been done and the driveway is now ready to be professionally sealed. And the best part is, I saved myself a handful of cash. I'll add links to the products used here today or close substitutes in the description below. I hope that you found this video helpful and I hope that I saved you a few dollars in showing you how you can tackle those asphalt driveway cracks yourself. Please hit that like button and subscribe for more projects that you can do yourself and save some money in the process. Thanks for watching.